When installing LED Neon into a channel system, there are a few things that you must pay attention to to make sure the installation is a success. First off, as you unpack the reel of LED Neon, make sure you utilize the included spool to remove the lights from the reel. Two people are required to properly facilitate unspooling the Neon. One person gently guides the Neon off the reel as the second person assists with the spinning of the reel. Do not tug or twist the Neon when unspooling as this may damage the lights. Make sure you have all the accessories and cables needed for your installation. This includes proper cable extensions to connect power to your lighting, as you should not have any tension on the neon or its connections. If you are cutting your light, be sure to use the appropriate shears that were specifically designed to cut through LED neon. When cutting, align the blade with the dotted cut lines so you are cutting through the neon perpendicular to the light output. Do not position the blade so it cuts vertically into the diffuser. Before you install your LED Neon, always lay out the entire reel and power it on. This is to confirm the light is functioning as it should. Next, when it's time to place the Neon into the channel, make sure you have another person available to assist you. Installing Neon into channel is a two-person job. One person is responsible for locking the Neon into the channel, and the other person is responsible for holding the remainder of the Neon so it doesn't get bent or twisted, as this may damage the lights. Once you start placing the neon into the channel, make sure the angle between the light and the channel is less than 15 degrees. Anything more than this is too extreme for the neon and can cause the light to fail. Press the neon into the channel firmly with the palm of your hand, moving only in one direction. Use the other hand to guide the light and keep it at an appropriate angle. We recommend wearing gloves for this to protect your hands and the lights. Do not use any blunt force object like a hammer or mallet to force the lights into the channel since this may damage the light. Once you have the entire length of neon in the channel, double check to make sure there are no jumps in the light and that the light is secure in the channel. If ever you need to remove your neon from the channel, please follow these guidelines. Removing neon is also a two-person job as one person pulls the light out of the channel and the other holds the excess light to prevent extreme bending. If the neon is in self-locking channel, make sure you remove the neon from the channel along with the anti-skid pads. Simply pulling the light out of the channel without removing the pads can tear the neon and damage the lights. Use your fingers to pinch the sides of the anti-skid pad to pull if you have access to them. If the channel is embedded and you cannot use your fingers, please use tweezers to access the pad and remove it from the channel. Again, when removing the neon, be sure not to let the light come out of the channel at more than a 15 degree angle. For further instructions and precautions, please refer to your LED Neon User's Manual.